everyone, I hope you brought snacks. Today we are going to be playing an indie horror game called Finger Bones. Phalanges. The bones within your finger. I have no more bits for this. That is all you get. Now we play game and I scream. Yeah. Oh, door. The setting here is kind of crazy. Am I just going to cut my finger off? No. What is this? It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed. I'm enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Oh, we smart! Oh, we smart! How smart are we, though? Are we, like, actually smart, or are we fucking delusional? It sounds like you might be a little delusional. Light, ah. Well, that's obviously a hidden wall. Well, not a hidden wall, it's an obvious wall. It's a hidden panel in the wall. Open, open, open cobwebs. More notes. It appears to be a page from manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Oh, oh yeah, we delusional. Button, can I do anything there? I can touch nothing. That looks like something I should be able to touch, but it's not. Oop, another page. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. Okay then. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Oh, that's creepy. Sir, I stand by delusional. I press the button. I don't know if I want that. Is that just gonna be on now? Oh, great. More noise I did not need. Can I take a knife? I did not take a knife. There's not a lot I can do. Note. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker. Whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Oh, 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 that's cool. It's lit up now. So now I can interact with it. See? I just needed to know to type in Katie. Yeah. Do I have to capitalize it? Okay, I'm spelling it wrong. Where, where's the note with Katie on? It was this one right here. How do I spell your name? K-A-T-I-E. I am writing this correctly. Oh, to the office door. Wait, it's probably unlocked. But because, wait, is it unlocked? I typed it in right. I did. I am good at this. There was just no auditory anything, so I didn't think anything happened. I don't think I need the flashlight. Can I just turn this off? Oh, what's in the trap door? Why do you have that down here? It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. She's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started. I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival and whispering it upon my ear. What was that? What's in the hatch? I can't open the hatch. Okay. Can't open the door. Can't open the hatch. There's a note. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just pile them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. The blood? The blood? The blood? There's blood in the hatch? Can I go in here yet? No. Box. Oh, there's another note. There's a lot of notes. Buddy, you write a lot. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. The tool room has been whose name? Oh, it's the wife's name. What's the wife's name? Oh, no. That's for... Okay, so the passcode for the tool room is my wife, my ex's name. 
EA. Sir, you... Sir, you need to move on. That is all. Um, another name, Katie, distracted, help, not depressed, blah, 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 blah. Where is name? That's all I need. I just need a name. Just a name. Uh, Pomerales should be enlightened. Okay, so that's where we realize you're crazy. Can you shut up? I should never have turned this on. I need to learn the name. I'm, I don't have a brain. Lynn. Lynn, it's right there. Did I not read that? I'm excited beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. I didn't read that. I might have read it. <sighs> okay, Lynn. Lynn, I need you to open the door for me for some reason. I need to then come up here to that. Yay, I did it. The music is very eerie, and I sh wish I didn't turn that thing on. That's very annoying. Okay. Lynn, you have opened the door for me. M our daughter is probably in the cellar. Why did I hear your daughter's definitely in the cellar. What's the noises? What's the noises? What's this? I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY, the rest of the word is missing. NNY? NNY, funny, funny. Is it funny? Is it funny? I don't know if it's funny. That sounds like crying. What's this? She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. That's rude. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. Helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitements of those first weeks. But buddy, let, let the child draw. Okay, so I'm assuming it's funny. That's all I can think of, NNY. I don't think of any other words that it could be. Unless I read something. F-U-N-N-Y. Nope. Bunny. I don't know what it is. Yay me. Or did I get it and I just didn't realize? Nope, I did not. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my car. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman. And now I realize there's no particular reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, sir, sir, I don't, I don't like that. Is it Lynn backwards? Wait, and then why it says the rest of the word is missing. So is it just an L? Is that what it is? It's Lynn backwards, <laughs> dude, come on. Come on. It's so easy to remember. I already used my wife's name. I just decided to put it backwards. Why am I so slow? Sir, you need to move. Okay. N-N-Y-L. Hey, Nil. And me. N-N-Y-L. So easy, storage room. So it's not that hatch, it's the room downstairs, right? I'm assumption. I am making the assumption. Can you stop crying down there? I'm sure this game ends with me going down there. Can you stop though for right now, just a second? I need to go other places. Is it? Ooh, button. I don't know what that button just did. I'm very bad at pressing buttons. I'm a bag of DNA and I... Hold <laughs> on, that statement. I am a bag of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient eight ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, Spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by. Because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desire, beauty, innocence. Figments of our collective primordial imagination. 
fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synopsis for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. I pressed a button. I'm assuming button was for thing upstairs, not for hatch. Hatch is gonna have to wait, I'm assuming. This is, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Am I gonna go up the slope? Okay, thankfully, we actually walked up this properly this time. I opened the wall hole. It is definitely open. Is there just gonna be a note? Man, your collision does not like running into things. Uh, are those the finger bones? The cellar is freedom. Okay, so the code to the cellar is freedom? That's all I got from that. Freedom! Freedom! Yep, I was right. I was right, it's freedom. I will be free in the cellar. I see a lot of finger bones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two hands. That's all the finger bones on a person. Yay! The game lived up to the hype and its name. I must be free. I must go to the cellar and be free. It's my destiny. I desire freedom in the cellar. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to be there. I have taken one step into the cellar and I do not like freedom anymore. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. Took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Are, have you been eating her? She's not here, buddy. I had to tell you, my friend, but she not here. It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers. My anti-religious artifacts. My testaments to moral intellectual freedom. Are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. You definitely have! The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time, with one last flicker. The flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. And the game closed! My god, what did I just play? Okay. Brain, dude ate daughter during apocalypse, returns to home to relive old memories. And find freedom in the cellar. Pretty straightforward. Oh. The fingers were anti-religious. What? He was definitely delusional. Crazy, some might say. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. As always, guys, good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever each and every one of you wonderful individuals are. I will see all of you next time.